Hi there Year 8 and uh, welcome back to online learning. So let's have a bit of fun. So the first thing I want you to do is to write down the date and the title which is wait and then for your do it now task I've got here a cushion and a book. If I were to let them go which one is going to hit the ground first and why do you think that? Pause the video and write it down. Off you go. Okay, which one did you think? Let's find out if you're right. Ready and go. Which one dropped first? It was the book. But why? So why would the book drop faster than a cushion. Could it possibly be because the book weighs that little bit more than the cushion? The book's heavier than the cushion. Okay, so we need to now talk about what weight actually is. So the weight of an object is the force of gravity that's pulling down on it. So when we talk about weight, we're talking about something that's being pulled down by gravity. And we measure it in newtons. Now be really careful when you write the word newtons. When we write it as a letter, we write the capital N. But when we write it as a word, we write it with a small n. And this is really important because if we were talking about the capital N, we would be talking about the Newton family. Oh look! There's a meeting of Newtons over there. There's Phil Newton and Joe Newton and Margaret Newton all having a nice drink together. So when we talk about Newtons, which is the unit of force, and weight is a force, um, because it's the force of gravity acting on you, we talk about Newtons with a small n, because that's the unit. So weight depends on two things. It depends on the mass of the object, and it depends on the force, um, so the strength of gravity. So on Earth, our gravitational field strength is around 10 newtons per kilogram. It's really 9.81 newtons per kilogram, but to make the maths easier, we tend to say it's 10. Okay, unless you're told otherwise, always take the force of gravity on Earth to be 10 newtons per kilogram. Um, so you've got the mass of the object, and mass, nothing to do with the weight. The mass is just a way of measuring the amount of matter something has. So if I were to get on the scales, it would my mass could would be measured in kilograms. It would be probably about 70 kilograms. Okay, and that's my mass on Earth, and it's my mass on the Moon, and it's my mass in outer space. So if I ever were to go be an astronaut and get to go to all these wonderful places, my mass wouldn't change. My mass in kilograms would remain exactly the same, but my weight would change because gravity is acting upon it differently in different places. So in space you are weightless because there's no gravity, but that doesn't mean you are massless. You still have stuff. You still matter. You always matter. Okay? Unless you're travelling at the speed of light squared and then you energy. But that's another lesson. Okay, so, um, what I would like you to do now is there are a few questions on a worksheet. Okay, I'd like you to have a go at those and it's just about measuring um, weight and mass and gravitational field strength. And you, all you need to know is that your weight is your mass multiplied by the gravitational field strength. There is a triangle on the worksheet to help you. If you wanted to push yourself a bit further, there is a worksheet called Mass in Space. This one's optional. And this one helps you to calculate what the weight of things and uh, the gravitational field strength is on other planets. Um, so just a little bit of fun for you there. And your star task, if you've done both the worksheets and you want to go for the Warwick star, I would like you to please tell me 
how you would measure gravity on Mars. So imagine you've gone in a space rocket, you've gone all the way to Mars, and someone says, oh, well, we think we know the gravity, but we're not sure. But could you devise an experiment to measure the gravity now we're on Mars? You go, yes, of course, because I'm a super scientist and I'm on Mars, so I'm going to do that experiment. So how would you do it? That's what I would like to know. So if you could um, send me on an email um, the worksheets that you have done. And if you've done the star work, do that as well, please. Um, any, any work you will do, uh, you will get a credit for. I will be logging who's done them and who hasn't. And if you are not doing the work, I will be getting in touch with you to let you know I've not had it and you need to do it. So enjoy the lesson. I hope you have fun with the worksheets. If you do have any questions about them, get in touch. Uh, I know that I don't work Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I will get back to you as soon as I can and so that you have a chance of doing the worksheet. All right, enjoy, take care, and I will see you hopefully fairly soon. Take care. Bye.